All right, welcome to Wind Up Wednesday. Super excited. I think this is what our third one together. So fun. I'm really honored and just blessed to be on this journey with you guys. And, um, you know, just knowing that you're out there doing the same thing that I'm doing is just, it's super fun. And um, it just makes me just so thankful that I've got you guys in my life and that we have each other, right? Because there's strength in numbers. It's amazing what civilizations have been able to do as a unit, as a group. Um, and I feel like that I'm stronger with you guys, you know, like it kind of helps me get out of my comfort zone. And I hope you are feeling the same energy because, you know, we're all restarting our business, right? We're all relaunching things. And, um, and it's exciting knowing that we're all, doing it together. So we're all on day 19 today. And um, I wanted to take a second and do a little bit of a shout out to some of you guys that are just seriously crushing this um, restart program. Like you are taking this to from good to great, like you're killing it. I feel like that I'm just kind of like one of the slowest ones compared to so many of you guys. So I just hit level one um, yesterday. Um, I had an online order come in that put me at 1269 PRV. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but I wanted to shout out some of you guys because there's so many of you that are just absolutely inspiring me so big. So hold on. Let me. Um, nope, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, don't make me do this. Okay, so I'm in my workstation and I'm trying to pull a report so that I can um, shout out so many of you guys. So when I call your name, if you're on, um, I want you to, uh, when we get, when I get finished recognizing you, I'd love for you to give us one fast tip or advice that has helped you get to where you are this month because we all started April 1st relaunching our businesses at zero, zero PRV, zero new recruits. And we're all relaunching. We're, we're calling it the sensational restart, which is healthy for us to do in our businesses periodically anyway. Right. But um, I'd love to um, kind of put you guys on the spot. So if I mention your name tonight, I'd love to, for you to share one fast, quick, tip or some advice that you might have for the rest of us that are trying to uh, relaunch our businesses as well. So um, that's something that I'm going to maybe put you guys on the spot. And now you're all going to shut your screens down, right? I know what you're going to do. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so I'm still waiting for my Zoom apparently takes down my um, whatever. It slows down my computer just a little bit. So everything's taking twice as long. So while I'm waiting for that to load, I will tell you I got my bricks in and I'm really excited. Um, how many of you guys got your bricks in? Raise your hands or put it in the chat. Have you guys already gotten your bricks in? Um, nobody? Yes, some of you? Okay, well, I am in love with them and I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm gonna go through them just a little bit because I've had so many of you guys asking me Laura, will you tell me what this smells like? Laura, will you tell me what that smells like? And um, so I hadn't smelled, I had only sm smelled one of these before. Um, and so um, these are new to me too. So I can't wait to tell you and kind of give you my take on it. So, um, but first, boss babes and boss dudes, let's shout you out, rock stars. If you're crushing this um, fun challenge, I want to put your name in lights. So Tasha, Ellington from North Carolina. She is killing this incentive um, with a whopping $1,800 in PRV just since April 1st. Oh, mind blown. I'm just like, how do you do that? That's awesome. So, um, yes, yeah, so Tasha is killing it, and I'm so proud of you. I'm Heather Doss from Mississippi, has $1,700 in PRV and Heather has a brand new recruit. So if you remember when we broke down these levels, we talked about how you could get um, the 1250 in PRV to hit level one, or you could get 
the three recruits that would get active. And so um, I'm really excited for some of you guys that are just, I mean, just blowing this out of the water. We have 70 days to do this, but a lot of you guys are already hitting level one already. And that's really exciting. Okay. And, and let me just stop real quick. Like, okay. Let me just say that um, I hope that these numbers and these names don't make you have anxiety. I hope that they inspire you because we are in this together. We are all one tribe. And so when you do well, then I want to cheer you on. And when um, someone else does well, I want to be there clapping and cheering for them because you know what all these girls are telling us and all, I think there's a guy in here somewhere um, that is in one of the top peers, but um tears. I don't know why I said tears. Uh, anyway, but you know what they're all doing? They're showing us that this can be done. They are proving that no matter which state you live in, how long you've been in Cincy, you can make this happen, right? Okay. So mention Tasha at 1800 PRB, Heather 1700 and a brand new team member. Jessica Matthews is at 1276. And she has a new team member too. And then there's me at 1269. No new team member for me though, not yet. Connie Holland is from North Carolina. She is doing very well at 1242, which means she's only $8 away from hitting level one. Don Ivy has 1238 and two new recruits. Woo! That's crazy. That's awesome. I mean, we are talking just since the first of the month. It's insane. Vanessa is at 1163, so very close to hitting level one, and Vanessa has a new team member. Uh, I'm sorry, I should be telling you where these boss babes are from. I'm from Georgia, Connie's from North Carolina, Dawn's from Florida, Vanessa's from Florida, and Faye Peebles, which we call Biscuit, She's at 990 and she has one new recruit and she is in Alabama. Ashley Jones. Ashley Jones is at 960. Ashley has already hit lead consultant. So let me tell you, this is what I was telling you guys would happen. So I told you at the beginning that when we do this restart program that it's not just going to help you make more money during the 70 days. It's actually going to help you promote, earn trips, and it's going to help your future paycheck. Like you're going to be richer in 2018 and 2019 because of this 70 day program. So congratulations, Ashley, on your brand new team member, uh, two new team members. And congratulations on your pay raise and your promotion, and you are incredible. So Samantha Raymond is a brand new consultant from Mississippi, and she's at $910, you guys. She started her Sensi journey on the 4th of this month, and she is already at over $900 and already has a new team member. Can we say boss babe? Like, whoa, mind blown. Anytime. I am trying to make an excuse. I'm just going to say, no, Laura, Samantha is getting it done. You can get it done, right? Okay, so um, that is everyone that's over $900 or more. And that is pretty, seriously, it's pretty incredible because we are just 19 days into this. I mean, that's crazy. Okay, so I said a lot of names there. And I want to give you guys time. Uh, one quick tip. One quick tip. Um, so who wants to go first? I will unmute you if you'd like to go first. Um, or you could put your, your tip in the chat as well if you are on your phone or if your screen is black, blacked out. Then, um, but we would, I mean, I seriously would love to hear at least one tip from some of you guys that are just doing so well. Like, that's just incredible. Um, I know Roberta is on, Biscuit is on, Ashley Jones, yeah, you are on. And who else did I mention? Oh my gosh, there were so many names. But, um, so Biscuit is Faye Peebles, and you heard me say her name for being such a rock star and just crushing this challenge. 
Biscuit says flip your host. That's her one piece of fast advice for you is to flip your host. What that means is basically um, as you are coaching your hostess through her party, you are going to try to flip her. You're going to try to constantly drop that seed of, you know, I'm going to get a paycheck for this. And you're going to get free product. But if you sign up, you could get the paycheck and free product. And they will they will sign up. And remember, we don't call them hostesses. Bad me. We call them scent advocates, right? Some of you guys should have caught that and corrected me. All right. So Ashley's advice is to make a relationship with your customers. Make them your family, not customers. Earn their trust. Word of mouth goes a long way. Wow. I couldn't have said it better. That is great advice. Both of you girls are just seriously incredible and I love that it's about relationships we've talked about that a lot and Ashley obviously you are owning that because you're doing so well so Biscuit had one more um, idea she said tell your customers what you have special um, like different promotions that the company's doing or whatever yeah tell them about about the bricks and that's what I want to talk about so um, I want to just go through real quick and take like seriously we're gonna try to do this in a minute so um, grab your pen if you want so we're going to do the ones that I like the least, <laughs> that my customers have liked the least. Um, we're going to do those first, okay? And it doesn't mean that you guys might not absolutely love some of these that I don't and some of them that my customers haven't. I'm just going to tell you that. Citrus Rosemary is um, one of the bricks that um, I was... I was really um, not sure what it would smell like. I'm not a big rosemary fan, but I am a citrus fan. For what it has in it, they've done a good job with it, okay? Um, but it is very citronella almost, very earthy. Um, so if you have a customer that loves essential oils, um, this might would be a wax that you might would recommend to her. Um, hold on. Peach and white amber is my next one and it is good i love peach but it is light so i have heard a lot of people say man i love it i just wish it were stronger um in fact i have a lot of customers that this is their favorite like this is the one that they absolutely want two and three of peach and white amber it's just really light which is a marketing strategy that you can use for all of your customers that get migraines easily or that don't want a strong scent, I would definitely recommend the peach and white amber. Okay, the next one that, um, my next favorite one is Persian lime and sandalwood. This smells just like groom number 48. So if you've smelled the men's um, fragrances and you've got men that are hooked on groom products in the 48 fragrance, this is the same thing. So it smells very much like cologne. Very, very much like cologne. It's really nice. I had two different guys in my house today shopping and um, they both loved that one a lot. Okay, so my next two are kind of a tie. They are my most favorite. I love bergamot and solar driftwood. It smells beachy and I love beach clean. And it is heavenly. It's good. It's really good. It doesn't last a very, very long time, um, but it is very good. So it's uh, known as number tw uh, 71 in our, um, prod in our groom and skin products, number 71. So if you will use this strategy, you will get them hooked on this wax, and then it will be very easy for you to sell them skin and groom line body products like the shape the shower shave and shampoo bar and all these different products the the body souffle if you are smart you will get them hooked on bricks first and then tell them oh i remember you like um you know skin number nine and let me tell you it comes in a brick because my favorite of all the bricks is this one pineapple coconut vanilla amazing smells like pineapple, coconut, and vanilla. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I love it. And it is number nine. So if you've ever tried the scent and uh, body products in number nine, there's the brick that matches. Okay. 
So enough of bricks. Um, I want to talk to you about um, some strategies because remember this is our midweek business meeting on what you're going to do this weekend to build your paycheck. So I have talked to you guys about a lot of things on these wind up Wednesdays. And if you've missed a wind up Wednesday, that's fine. It's all on my Google channel, uh, YouTube channel. Um, you can Google it and find it easily. Um, but tonight I want to talk to you about something that I did in my first 70 days way back in 2009 that really worked so well for me that I'm doing it again, this restart program. So I am much better, but I'm shy by nature. Since he's gotten me out of my comfort zone a lot, I'm sure all of you guys could probably say the same thing some yourself, but when I first started, I, um, I was really, really shy and I didn't have a lot of things going for me. I didn't have a lot of, you know, a huge family, um, support system. I didn't have, uh, I was homeschooled, so I didn't have that huge pool of, you know, um, school acquaintances to pull from. We lived in a little bitty town and um, not a high income area. I mean, just a lot of reasons that I could say that would hinder me in my Sensi journey. Um, but being shy was probably the biggest thing that I really realized was going to land me um, as unsuccessful. Of all the things that were working against me, um, be, I realized that because I was shy, I was, I was not going to make it. I wasn't. Um, you cannot be shy and successful in this business. Or can you? So let me tell you about how I develop, uh, developed a um, strategy to help me be a smart, shy person. And even if you're watching me right now and you're like, Laura, I'm not shy. I can talk to anybody. Well, good. Keep watching because if someone like me that's shy can use these strategies, then someone that's not shy could use the same strategies and do five times better than me. You get what I'm saying? Like you could totally, absolutely crush it if it worked for me. So um, the strategy that I want to teach you tonight is something absolutely simple, but under utilized and it is branding and getting other people to help you brand yourself and this is something that I feel like this word is tossed around a bunch brand 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 we brand ourselves all the time right or do we do we brand ourselves effectively I don't know maybe some of these girls that are selling a thousand dollars in 19 days they might be branding themselves effectively but if you're struggling to get to um, $1,000 in a month, maybe you could use some of these ideas. So I want to talk to you about branding. I'm going to start simple because you know what? A lot of times you can actually get incredible results from very basic ideas. And so I want to talk to you real fast about this. It's a stamp. comes from Vistaprint. Do you guys have one? You need one in your life. You need one in your life. So all mine says is Cincy Wickless Candles, Laura Godwin. The little round thing in the middle says start your business for $99. At the bottom, it says buy, host, join. It has my phone number and needmoresense.com is my website. Is that backwards for you guys? Oh, good. No. I'm glad it's not backwards. It's backwards for me looking at it. So it's a stamp, and let me tell you, I do a lot of things with this stamp. I stamp bill, bills, I stamp car bars. What? Y'all, really? Do you know how much cheaper a stamp is than a label, a sticky label? A stamp is way cheaper. I'll get guaranteed 1,000, maybe 2,000. I can't remember stamps out of this. And then all I have to do is replace the little inker thing, whatever it's called. That's all I have to do. So I can use this over and over and over and over and over again. It's so cheap, so effective. I stamp everything. Did I say that already? I mean, you could put a sticky on here, but why not just stamp it? I stamp everything. I stamp my order forms when I give them their copy. I stamp my order forms. Um, I stamp 
pretty much just everything. So get yourself a stamp. Vistaprint sells them. Rubberstampchamp.com sells them. Just get yourself a stamp and then just go through your day asking yourself what you can stamp. Like everything. Stamp everything. So um, I don't remember the statistics, but the statistics are amazing at how many times people need to see something written for it to stick in their mind. It's crazy that sometimes I know some of your middle names because I see it on Facebook. And it's, it's crazy. Like, I don't need to know your middle name. I don't even want to know your middle name, but I know it because it's constantly in front of me. So stamp everything. When your customers or your scent advocates are away from you at the ballpark, or if they're away from you at church or wherever they go, and someone talks to them, and you're not there, about meeting Scentsy, will they know your website? Will they? Then let's change that. Starting this weekend, remember this now, we are in a business meeting to change your paycheck. Your whole entire paycheck can be absolutely transformed forever because of the 70 days. But thing number one, you are going to have to get yourself branded. I'm not asking you to go and buy a commercial. I'm not asking you to go and uh, rent a billboard in your area. I mean, those might would be cool ideas. Go for it, you know. But um, how about let's just start with a stamp and stamp everything. So you will notice at the top of my bricks, did you catch that I had my sticker up there? A simple sticker. Could I put more information on there? Absolutely. But would all of that extra writing take away from the one thing I want them to remember? It might. It might. So I'm going to keep it simple. I want them to remember my name and my website. Roberta says that that statistic that I was needing to know, I'm so glad that she is so smart. So she says it's 21 times for it to stick in our brains. So has, just pick a customer out, pick your best customer out in your mind. Have they seen your website 21 times? Have they read it 21 times? If they haven't, then let's fix that. Let's change it, okay? So branding um, can be done in a lot of different ways. Yes, using your website is a big, big deal. Um, using your website is going to constantly just remind people uh, to come back to you to shop. But if you're early in your Scentsy journey, you may just want to brand yourself to help everybody in your community know that you sell Scentsy. There's so many different ways of doing that. Wear a hat, put a button on your purse, um, add a Scentsy logo to your vehicle somewhere, um, get your, um, you know, get your school, your son's school to put your business card as an ad in their football schedule. Yay, Amanda got the logo on her car. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, there are so many ways to get the word out that you sell Scentsy. But now what I want to talk to you about is to help you brainstorm how to get others to brand for you. Because you know what? Everything that I've said has all been about you. But how much nicer would it be for other people to be branding your business for you while you're sleeping? So let me tell you a couple of ideas. I could go crazy with this, but I don't want to take up all your time. So we're going to cut this down and we're just going to simplify and then we'll build upon it in future wind up Wednesdays. But for tonight, I want to keep it simple. So we've talked about ways that you can brand yourself. Now let's talk about some ways that someone else can brand your business for you. So one of the things that I am recently uh, really loving and getting a lot of great reviews on is my referral special. So I do a drawing once a month for a cent of the month bar. Did I say month too many times there? I think I did. <laughs> I do a drawing one time a month for a free bar from my scent warmer of the month. And here's what I do. I tell my customers when they get their order, when I'm following up with them, I'll say, hey, Becky, your order is shipping out and you should have it tomorrow night. 
Um, I cannot wait to see how you love it. And then I text her that next night. Did you get it? Did you love it? Have you opened it up yet? I can't wait to see how you like it. And then I tell her this. When you get it, take a selfie with your favorite product and put it on Facebook and tag me. And I'll put you in the drawing for a free bar this month. And I don't know if you guys are noticing it, but I'm getting tagged. And here's the fun thing. A lot more people are seeing it than just my average everyday people because all of her friends are seeing it. All of her family is seeing it. You get how this works? She's branding for me. Now, is it worth a $5 bar? Absolutely, because I probably got that bar for free because the scent and warmer of the month special is so cheap. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more here in just a second. Or I, I could have gotten that bar free because I used my hostess rewards. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, but even if I had to pay $5, would it be worth it? Absolutely. You can play with it. You don't have to do a free bar. You can do a free brick. How important is it to you to have a big customer base? Because here's what's happening. I'm selling a lot more to people that have never, ever heard of me before because they're finding out about me from seeing a post on Facebook. All right. It's as easy as getting people to talk about you. One other thing that I am just now using, just trying to get myself out of my comfort zone, um, is I am asking for people to help me find my next hostess. Now I'm calling them a scent advocate, but I'm gonna use hostess for those of you that are, are new to this Wind Up Wednesday. So uh, last Wind Up Wednesday, I challenged all of us to rethink the word hostess, rethink the word party. We're not gonna use that terminology. That's so 80s, Ugh. that's so 90s. We're 2017 and we are using fresh terminology, making everything sparkle and be happier, right? Okay, so. What I'm basically doing is I'm just saying, hey, I would love to reward you. Do you know anybody that might would want to do a scent event for me next month? So I'm pushing it back a month so that they don't feel overwhelmed, like that they have to think about it right then. I'm giving them time. And I am not even telling them what I'm promising them. I'm not. But what I'm finding is that people are going, oh my gosh, you know what? I have a coworker that is addicted to Scentsy and, you know, I'll give you her information and maybe you can get in touch with her. And I'd be like, and then I'm always like, oh my gosh, that would be awesome. And I would totally make it worth your while. You'll love my referral special. See, I never one time told her what I was giving away and I didn't have to because I was confident in my approach. I've made sure she felt comfortable because I made it all about her. When you do a referral special, you have to make it about them. Make it special and sparkly to them. Don't think about you needing parties, you needing new customers. Think about what's in it for them. And when you think like that, you'll speak just fine. Because you have to change the way you think. So one of the, one of the best things that I've seen people do is talk about others, what it can be for them. One of the worst things I see people do is say this, I need new parties or I need new customers. Don't tell them what you need. Tell them what's in it for them. Don't nobody care about your numbers. They don't care about my numbers either. They don't care if I earn a trip. I mean, really, they, they really honestly don't care. They maybe care like that much and they care about their free stuff like that much. Okay, so if I'm thinking about what's in it for them, then I'm going to be speaking about what's in it for them. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm not going to be the dead horse. You guys are rock stars. You know what I mean. So um, that's that about branding. Gosh, I could say so much more, but I'm just going to try to keep this simple and then we'll build upon it on Wednesdays to come. So I went through the bricks. Now I want to talk to you about... Um, Scent Warmer of the Month came in today. Have you guys already gotten this? Because I'm always late at getting my Scent Warmer of the Month. Everybody always gets it before me. I think my UPS guy hates me. So I wanted to go through it because did you know that you earn PRV on the Scent Warmer of the Month? So I mean, like, dude, they discount it for us. 
they give it to us early and we earn PRV on it, hello savings. So when someone says to me, um, are there any perks to being a consultant? Well, I say, um, yeah, I paycheck. And then I was like, oh, and we get way discounted products before anybody else even sees it. And when I talk about it like that, they're like, ooh, tell me more. <laughs> anyway, so um, I wanted to show off my scent warmer of the month box came in. And I haven't even opened it. Like I truly got the scissors right before this call started. Huckleberry and Clementine. I mean, like seriously. Oh, wow, that's cool. Hold on. Um, it kind of has a black raspberry vanilla, like a, it's, oh, you know what it almost smells like? It smells like if you married black raspberry vanilla and sunkissed citrus. Do you guys think so? I think I love it. I love huckleberry sage, and the clementine just makes a little bit more tart. It's different, it's very different, I like it a lot. So I get 10 of these, I get two testers, a big one and a baby one, and I get a room spray in my scent warmer of the month kit, and this helps me get to our restart, our sensational level one. Like this is helping me get there. And then you guys wanna see the warmer? So as I'm getting this out, why don't you guys be thinking about some questions that you have for me and we'll end it. So you get 50 of these handy dandy guys. I mail these out to my customers and they sure do look handsome. What in the world? I got a prize, hold on. Stop the scroll. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Yay me. I have, oh wow, a bunch of them. Oh, there's a bunch. It's skin and groom stuff. Woohoo. Oh, since he's so great. That's awesome, you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, so now you guys need to go order the scent warmer of the month. Holy heck. Um, so you can still order it until the 28th of this month. Don't wait till the 28th. That would just be dumb. Just do it now. Anyway, you get 72 of these. I love these. They're super fun. So you wanna know what I do with them? I'm 13 years old, I'm pretty sure. Everybody thinks I'm 13, but I don't care. I love being, I love having fun. So I'm gonna show you what I do. When I send out a thank you um, card to my customers, hold on, I'm at my husband's desk. I gotta find the stash. This is what I do, okay? On their card, I put a scent and warmer of the month sticky thing. And then I do this. Can you see that? <laughs> and then I'll do another one over here and I'll make her and I'll put the sticker on there and then I'll say, I love being your Scentsy girl. So I put two stickers on there. If, if it's big enough, I'll put two stickers on it. Sometimes I just put one. But anyway, yeah, I put I love being your Scentsy girl. And it's fun. Okay, so anyway, what was I doing? Oh, you were thinking of questions. Who has a question for me? And I'm gonna open up this warmer and then we'll be done. Does anybody have a question for me? Ooh, it's blue. I'm so excited about this one. I love celebrating America's stuff. You know, like in Hobby Lobby, they already have it out. And I love all that Americana stuff. Ooh, it's a lantern. I forgot that it was a lantern. I just bought a, a lantern from Hobby Lobby today. I did not tell my husband's. It's 40% off. 
like the good wife that I am. I'll wait for a sale. No, he doesn't care. Okay, hold on. It's, I'm trying to get it out, you guys. There's lots of stuff in there. They package it so well. Okay, so, ooh. This is crazy pretty. Does anyone have any questions for me? Ta-da! You love it? It's as big as my face. It's so pretty. I bet it's going to be crazy gorgeous when I turn it on. I love it. I love lanterns. That's super, you guys. Just pretty stuff right there. So, okay. Anybody have any questions for me tonight? Okay, well, oh, hold on. Maybe I need to unmute you. That way you can ask your questions. Does anybody have any questions for me? You're unmuted. No questions? Was I that awesome? And now you know everything? No me. No, just kidding. <laughs> So, all right then. Well, I love you guys. I love this. Was this time better? The um, doing it thirty minutes later. I hope that was better. Is he being for you guys. crazy. And um, I will um, look forward to watching all of you guys in action. Be sure to brag on yourself. You get a new customer. You use some of this wind day, wind up Wednesday material. Post it on our team page. Tag me to it so I can see what's working for you. That'll inspire so many others as well to, um, to get out of their comfort zone and do something big in their business as well. So you guys have a great weekend, right? Because it's Thursday. And don't forget, on Friday, almost the entire world gets paid. And tonight's business meeting should have given you at least one or two ideas that you can incorporate tomorrow to get ready because there's somebody in your world that needs to place an order on Friday. There may be somebody in your world that needs to sign up under you on Friday. And we've already talked about the fact that almost all of our customers wait till payday to order. And almost all of my new team members wait till payday to sign up. Guess what? Friday's payday. So let's make it an awesome payday for our customers. Oh, and our scent advocates and share, 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 share what's working for you and all the fun stuff. And I will be in touch and we'll meet again next Wednesday. Bye, you guys.